Welcome to the JB Blues Cruise. You are welcome. I'm your captain, your host, JB. And I have been playing with my slides because today, well, we're not going to see any slide guitar today, blue slide, but we're going to see possibly one of the greatest um, sort of modern era blues slide guitarists ever, Mr. Rory Gallagher, one of my all time favourites. Love the man, love him, love him, love him, love him. Unfortunately, no longer with us. Like all the greats, um, uh, yeah, um, so that's uh, <laughs> that is very sad to be honest. Um, but uh, to put it mildly, but um, great fella, lived for the blues, lived for playing live, uh, absolute live. You know, he's obviously he's got his uh. His studio recordings, which I own some of, but just famous for his live performances. Strat guy, but without the tremolo. He was locked down strat. Just unbelievable. Um, but I like that. <laughs> I think it's a 62 strat, I think. Famously, the paint worn off, you'll see. Well, you must have missed one, but I'm going to do more videos, you'll see it on those. This one is a quite a, quite a rare... Uh, acoustic blues number by Rory um, so uh, it's called going to my hometown and it is I think it's from well this particular performance so we phone back on and um, is from uh, uh, 1972 it says so 1972 I think might be it's on TV it might be Irish TV I'm not sure because um, Rory was from Ireland of course as with the band um, Jerry McAvoy and all that uh, so there it goes, enjoy, enjoy uh, the performance. Three, two, one, off we go. Three, two, one again, off we go. Mama's in the kitchen, picking up a pie. Daddy's in the backyard. Get a job, son, you know you're hard to try. Well, I packed out my bag, I headed away from home. I got me a job from Henry Ford. But I made a mistake, I moved much too far. Now I know what the lonesome blues are. I'm getting lonesome, I'm getting blue. I need someone to talk to. I'm getting lonesome, I'm getting blue. Let me tell you where I'm going to. Yeah. I don't care even if I have to walk. 
That was special. That was special. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Again, I did. Let me... Hang on. Oh, oh, we went to roll there. Walk on hot coals. That'll come up there. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> In upcoming reactions. And another classic. Um, anyway. Yeah. You know. Again, feel. You know. I mean, a mandolin. The man's playing. A mandolin. I know it's mic'd, and I know it's going through some, some sort of PA system, but you know, on stage and that, but on amplification, but the man's playing a mandolin. <laughs> you know, against the okay. You quieten down bassist that you plugged into a bass amp and a, a you know, <laughs> a set of drums and that, but just fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And to be honest, I don't know about you, but every time I see Rory, all I can do is smile, to be honest. That's what he does to me, it makes me smile. Um, and just, you know, fantastic, just unbelievable music, because he lives for the music, lived for the music. Um, and you can tell that by looking at anything he does. Um, so that was Rory Gallagher. There will be more from Rory coming up. Uh, next time I may go uh, back in time. Um, just over 10 years back from that recording. No, it's less than 10 years actually. Uh, only 7 years, I think, from that recording. If I was 1972, I'm going to go back to 1965, I think it is, uh, to uh, see a little bit here, a little bit of the great... T-Bone Walker, one of the people that inspired, um, or maybe the guitarist that most inspired, B.B. Um, King, and so many other people. Just really, If you're a guitarist, you'll know about T-Bone. Really famous uh, licks, really famous, very famous for using, um, oh God, <laughs> certain types of uh, scales. Um, uh, chromatic scales, sorry. Runs, dramatic runs. Every time I make these videos, my friend just goes, I don't know. Uh, so, anyway, I hope you enjoy that. Please comment, like, and subscribe down below. Click the little, little bell. I am thinking about doing next Sunday a, uh, a special start in a special series. Sunday special, blue special, I don't know. Um, and I'm probably going to cover the holy trinity of uh, British electric blues of the late 60s, early 70s, that being um, Sabbath, uh, Purple, Deep Purple, and uh, Zeppelin, of course. So, uh, yeah, the holy, unholy trinity is uh, <laughs> Steve Coogan's fantastic Saxondale character. <laughs> Puts it, I don't know if you've ever seen that, but Seek Out Saxondale, the series, TV series, very, very funny. <laughs> A bit too close to home sometimes, but very funny. Um, anyway, I'll see you next time. Ciao for now. Take care, stay safe, and enjoy whatever you're doing.